As they travel to King's Landing, King Robert talks about having Ares's daughter Daenerys assassinated after hearing of her marriage to Khal Drogo. When Eddard protests, Robert reminds him of what Ares did to his family. Later at the inn at the crossroads, Sandor Clegane tells Sansa Stark about how Sir Ilan Payne hasn't had much to say since Ares had Sir Ilan's tongue torn out. When Eddard arrives in the Great Hall of the Red Keep, he is confronted by Sir Jaime Lannister, who expresses his bitterness at Eddard for judging him over his killing of Ares, especially after he killed Eddard's father and brother. Eddard counters that Jaime wasn't motivated by justice when he killed Ares, and that he had served him loyally when serving was safe. Sir Barristan Selmy of the Kingsguard recounts to King Robert I Baratheon how Ares ordered him to destroy the Kingswood Brotherhood. Selmy himself killed their leader, Simon Toyne. Bored and attempting to mock Sir Jaime, King Robert realizes that he never asked Jaime what King Ares Targaryen's last words were, then taunts Jaime for killing a defenseless old man he had sworn to protect. Jaime tersely responds that the last thing the Mad King said was the same thing he'd been raving for hours since the sack of the capital by the rebels began. Burn them all. This silences Robert's levity. Aemon, the maester sworn to Castle Black, the main fortress of the Night's Watch, reveals to Jon Snow that he is the uncle of King Ares and, because of his oath to the Night's Watch, he could not interfere during the rebellion. Aemon warns Jon that he must live with whatever decision he makes for the rest of his life, and urges him to not abandon the Night's Watch after hearing of Eddard Stark's unjust imprisonment. Grand Maester Pycelle recalls that King Ares was initially a good man. He then laments that he saw Ares melt away before his eyes, as madness increasingly gripped his mind over the years and a once charming man was consumed by dreams of fire and blood.